Hello, everybody. It's about that time. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by today. Today's beer comes from Ziegmeister Brewing. Uh, these guys are up in New Jersey. This is their Deep Sea Series New England style IPA with Citra and Mosaic hops. Uh, two excellent hops here, guys. Uh, Citra, very citrusy and mosaic. You're going to get a whole lot of uh, uh, piney grapefruit, pineapple, aromas. So, uh, we're going to see what this one brings to the table. This was sent to me by my brother Rico. He has sent me uh, several variations of uh, what Sigmeister does. So, uh, they seem to be uh, doing some pretty tasty stuff there. Uh, let me read. This is a 6.7%. Uh, in his notes, he writes, uh, uh, New England style IPA with Citra Mosaic, 6.7%. New England style IPA with 70 IBUs. Uh, he said he picked it up last week and it was $14 for a four pack at a uh, New Jersey bottle shop. And it was canned on 10 20 of 17. Uh, today is the 9th. I think it's the 9th. It's either the 9th or 10th. I don't have any idea. So, uh, let's see what it brings to the table. Let's see what we got here. In the can, big 16 ounce can here. Uh, as far as uh, uh, commercial description, let's run over to Untabs and see what they have to say about this bad boy. They don't have anything to say about it. Well, I guess we're just stuck with it's a New England style IPA with Citra and Mosaic hops. So, first beer of the day for me. Uh, let's see what we got here. Get the top popped open here and see if we have a, a juice bomb on our hands. Mm, it's not super cloudy coming out, but it does look like it's an unfiltered beer. Food Prime Cuisine is curried in a tie. Cheese is pepper, Monterey, Pepper Jack, Sharp, Blue, Cheddar, your, your more pungent cheeses, Gorgonzola, Lemberger, Meat, Poultry, Fish, Shellfish, and Salmon. And I'll add grilled meat to that. Got for the pint, backer, non tumbler, mug, style, side dial. I'm using my favorite tulip glass and not recommended for percent of selling, guys. Uh, very cloudy beer. Definitely looks like an unfiltered beer. Uh, don't know. It's not quite to the bright orange, juicy color. Uh, but uh, it definitely looks like an unfiltered and uh, being a New England style, like I said, uh, uh, yeah, it is kind of cloudy even down through here, so uh, we're going to give it the benefit of the doubt. Uh, definitely does not look like orange juice in the glass, guys. Uh, uh, let's go, looks like it's, it's, uh, it's a, a thinner version of that, if you will. So let's get it to the nose. Not much head at all on that pour. Very citrusy, uh, a little bit of oranges in there. I am getting a little bit of pine and, and grapefruit. It's a little on the subdued side. Seal smell is pretty good for, you know, first beer I've had my nose into today. <laughs> Very citrusy. Well, let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Rico. Very tasty. Seems to be a well-made beer. I am getting some oranges, a little bit of grapefruit and pine. 
maybe just a slight hint of some lighter melons, uh, some mango, or, or something like that. Tastes pretty good. I know it's not blowing my hair back or anything, but it's, it is a very tasty beer. Seems to be very pleasant, so let me get the back end of this uh, pour in there, see if it changes the appearance any. Oh, it looks a little cloudier now coming out the back end there. Oh, well, we got a bunch of floaties coming in there. That last pour, there's a lot of sediment, a lot of junk in the trunk on the bottom of that can. Oh yeah, a lot of floaties in there now. I'm getting big chunks dropping to the bottom of the glass here. Definitely unfiltered. Uh, not a big fan of all these floaties for a beer that fresh. Uh, but it is unfiltered, so they're just letting everything roll right out of the tank uh, that's in there. So maybe this was uh, the bottom of the tank where everything accumulates, I don't know. There's a ton of stuff floating around in this beer, though. A lot of junk in the trunk. Anyway, uh, it is what it is. I'm sure it's nothing that's going to hurt you. So. Uh, I'm just not a big fan of that there. People that make this style of beer that doesn't have all that in there. So, uh, a little bit of unimpressed there. So, well, let me sip on it, let her taste it, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. Got a little left here. Ton of junk in the trunk. Ton of junk in the trunk on this beer. A lot of sediment, a lot of floaties when I poured that last little bit out of the can. A lot of that stuff has settled down. You would think that stuff would be in the bottom of the tank unless they're canning and pouring from the bottom of the tank. Uh, they would have something with a little less of that and I realize it's unfiltered. Uh, so are my beers. I don't filter my beers but it doesn't have all the floaties or junk in the trunk. Of course I don't whirlpool it or any kind of other special process to get that cloudy New England style look to the beer. Uh, but uh, for a beer that's not even a month old. I mean, I've got an eighth of an inch of sediment in the bottom of it. Whole lot of junk in the trunk on this one. Kind of bitter on the back end, even though it's only 70 IBUs. Uh, it's not as balanced as I think it could be. Uh, decent beer, but in my opinion, not an A beer. Final joke. I mean, it's just... It's everywhere. And I'm sure it's not going to hurt you. It's, I'm just not a fan of it, guys. That's probably it for me. B plus is where I'm going to put it. I'm just not a fan of all that stuff floating around. Big, great big chunks. Uh, like I said, I'm sure it's not going to hurt you. Uh, I'm just not a fan of it, though, guys. Uh, it's either dead yeast or, or, or something uh, uh, that's left over. Maybe some... Uh, I don't think, it, with being that fresh, it's not coagulation from the hops, so I'm just thinking it's dead yeast it's, that they pulled out of the bottom of the tank as they're pouring it or, or, or filling the cans with, so uh, like I said, don't think it's going to hurt you, I'm just not a fan of it. Uh, a little disappointed with this one. Uh, B plus, like I said, uh, 88. It does, it does seem to be a decent beer. Maybe I got the first run where they were pulling it, uh, but I've read some other comments that it, it, uh, that's a problem they're having. A lot of floaties, a lot of junk in the trunk on, the, on this particular beer. So, uh, Over to Beer Advocate, they say 4.11. Not going there, I would not give this beer that. And over to Untapped, they have it at 3.9. Uh, that is their... B plus slash A minus scale. I don't really consider their beers, uh, their scale to be uh, uh, A beers until it gets to the 4.0. But uh, you got to grade their ratings on a curve because they don't go to the 5. Uh, so, okay beer, decent beer. Not exceptional, not world class, not outstanding to me. Uh, a little heavy on the bitterness compared to the sweetness of the malt that they've used on this one. So a little bit unbalanced. Uh, uh, not sure I would put Probably wouldn't buy this beer again. If I bought this and it had that much stuff in every can, I probably wouldn't buy it again. So, with that being said, if you've had this one from uh, Steve Meister, the New England Style IPA with Citra Mosaic Deep Sea Series, let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.